G'day and welcome to today's Bottom Up Boats video demonstration where we show you how to whip the ends of your ropes to prevent them from fraying. Step one, you want to take your needle, pushing it through the rope as close to the end as possible, pulling it through and leaving three to four millimeters of tail at the bottom. To lock this off, you then want to cross back on yourself two or three times, which locks off the line, preventing you from having to tie a knot in the end. Step two, you want to take the tail and flatten it down towards the standing end of the rope. You then want to take your whipping twine and tightly coil it around the rope, burying the tail as you complete the loops. We like to do somewhere between eight to 10 tight coils before moving on to the finishing step of the whipping. With the coils complete, you want to take your needle as close to the last coil as possible, pushing it through coming out on the other side of the rope, once again, as close to the last coil as possible. This is where your palm comes in handy to push the edge of the needle through, pulling it tight to lock it off. Then take your needle up to the other end of the coils, once again, passing it through using the palm to pop it out once again coming out right next to the other end of the coil. You want to repeat this step two to three times taking the needle through in exactly the same hole and pulling it tight to lock it into place. On the second or third go round, pushing the needle through with the palm may not be enough. If it's too tight to get out, you can always grab a pair of pliers to help you get the needle through. With the last locking loop completed, it's now time to finish it off. Once again, we want to avoid tying a knot. And the best way to do this is to take your needle and put it through where the final whipping twine exited, passing it up the rope on a 45 degree angle, popping it out and pulling it through. This effectively buries the whipping into the rope and it locks it off in the inner core. You want to do this two, possibly three times. Once again, popping it through the same hole and then sliding it up on a 45 degree angle, burying a little bit more of the whipping line. With the final bury complete, it's a simple matter of taking your scissors and cutting the whipping line as close as possible to the rope and then just normalizing it to make sure that it's 100% buried. So that completes today's Bottom Up Boats video demonstration, where we showed you how to whip the end of your line to prevent it from fraying. If you liked today's video, why don't give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you get notified of all our latest releases as soon as they become available.